Hi everyone, Snowby here and welcome to our first Mythbusters episode. In time we will look at various views or comparisons with the series. They may not happen often, but this is the series where we will do it and you guys are welcome to make suggestions for future videos. Now, some months back I posted a Darkness Falls Beginner's Guide, two parts. In it I suggested some of the starter skills you can consider when you are starting a new game. One of them was Sexy Rex or Sexual Tyrannosaurus. I suggested one skill point be added in those early days as this will help with that annoying stamina in the first week. However, I was told not to do this as it was a poor idea. You see, when you add a point to Sexy Rex, this not only increases your stamina regeneration, but it also increases your food consumption. So don't do it. Now, this was actually news to me. It was something that I've always done and I would recommend. So it got me thinking. In version 4.03a, does increasing your stamina regen actually burn more food or possibly water? And how do you test this? Well, I guess we play the game. You need to set up certain parameters so that it is considered a legitimate test. As I believed increasing your activity will possibly increase food and water consumption, I decided to set up a similar set of tasks between the various playthroughs. I didn't want to just sit in the trader and wait for my food to go down. I needed to do something that simulated normal gameplay. I would do four playthroughs, each from day one, default 60 minute days, I would start from when I wake up in the game and go until 7pm when the crickets start chirping. Each playthrough would include killing 40 zombies and then I would see how low my food and water was once the day was done. First two playthroughs would be on warrior difficulty and the following ones would be on insane. On insane difficulty your food and water are supposed to actually burn faster so we can test that out as well the key thing here is does sexy rex burn more food or water if you put a point into it during the first week if so making this possibly bad advice for new players that are struggling with their food in that first few days so i started my first playthrough i woke up in the game threw away most of my items and then pushed off and obviously i can't eat or drink anything my mission is to track down and slaughter 40 zombies, first making my weapons, then setting out to vanquish some undead. After roaming around, then also digging up some soil at one point until my stone shovel broke, I ended the day at 7pm. My food and water was sitting at 71 and 62. I started a new save with the next test. This would be the one where I added a point into Sexy Rex. Now, initially you cannot add a point into Sexual Tyrannosaurus as it is connected with your athletics action skill. So, before I can add a point, I must go up a level in athletics. However, this does not take too long and I followed the similar strategy as the first playthrough, making my weapons and killing zombies. One difference, however, was my spawn point was different as I ended up being sent to Anna at the start. Still, it's not a big problem because it was still in the forest biome and it should not affect anything. After about 7 minutes, I dumped a point into Sexy Rex and continued my march to 40 kills. As the day progressed, I noticed the food and the water ticking down and was thinking this could be plausible. The increase in stamina regen from adding a point into Sexy Rex could be a problem. As the day drew to an end and I had no trader to use, I opened up the creative menu and dumped a vending machine down to make sure I had the correct time. As the cricket started chirping, I checked the vending machine and recorded the food and water usage. With one point into Sexy Rex and following a very similar day as the first playthrough, my food and water was... 71 and 62. The exact same as without Sexy Rex. Now, with only one set of tests under our belt, I didn't want to call this busted yet. Maybe this is only an issue that happens on higher difficulties. So I fired up the test again, 60 minute day, and now on insane difficulty. With insane, getting hit is pretty bad for your health. So I certainly wanted to avoid that. I followed the same path, not eating or drinking, I didn't want any points into skills or perks, just mustered on until I hit the 40 zombie kill count. Then I ran around a bit avoiding zombies until the 7pm time limit. 
I ended up on 61 food and 49 water. This is a substantial difference between warrior and insane. So there's definitely a burn here, a burning of food as the day progressed. But let us see if the water and food is going to drop faster once we apply Sexy Rex to the equation. Test four proceeded without a problem. I added a point to Sexy Rex around the eight minute mark and continued with my zombie destruction. My eyes always glancing down and watching as the food ticked towards the hunger levels. The end of the day drew closer, the cricket started chirping and it struck 7 p.m. I recorded the food and the water levels. So what seems to be quite clear is there is no difference in food or water consumption when taking Sexy Rex or not taking it. From this rather basic test, we can call this busted. What we can say though, is food and water consumption does increase with difficulty level between Warrior and Insane. So playing on Insane would mean you must make sure you have a pretty good food and water source in those early days. Unless there is a change, you can safely take at least one Sexy Rex point to help with your stamina at the start of the game, without worrying about it eating your food. Here is a bonus point. Ever notice players complaining that their food appears to drop faster than others in the group? What is most interesting is that there is actually a very important mechanic going on in the background. You see, food consumption is affected by a factor that people don't realize, and that is your health. If a zombie hits me, I take damage and my health drops. From this point on, unless I apply some kind of medical healing, my health will start to slowly increase. This is just a natural part of the game. Your health slowly ticks up as it tries to get back to that max health mark again. While this is happening, you will burn food much faster than if you didn't have any health loss. This can be one of the reasons why some players complain that their food is going down faster at times. Even with a small amount of health loss, your food will burn faster. There is a skill that does something similar, and in the early game you should be aware of this. That is, Health Nut. Put a point into Health Nut and your wellness increases by 10. This means if your health was on 100, it would now start to move up to the 110 mark. So after putting a point into Health Nut, you will burn more food as your health tries to reach that maximum level again. Keep this at the back of your mind. When you take damage, you're going to get hungry faster. I hope this makes sense. I may have missed something that throws my analysis way out, so please, <laughs> please let me know that I've misunderstood something. I'm always open to having things cleared up. Right, are there any other comparisons or myths you think that we should look at? Please drop a like if you believe this video deserves it. Otherwise, as usual, I will see you in the next one.